Yong Huihua Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. Why are you smiling, Kristen? Are you writing with two pins at the same time? <laughs> yes. They're they're two different colored pins. You're holding with one hand, <laughs> and you're writing in the book. Oh,、uh, I sometimes do this. You know, I know it's crazy. I did. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with pens、uh -huh. these days, even more so. Yes.、Um, but you know, as you all know, I like just handwriting,、yes. just writing,、mm. and I like cursive writing.、Mm. You know, there's a flow to cursive writing. Right.、Um, but yeah, I when I'm recording, I just doodle all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I do see you doodle, just、uh -huh. writing all the time. Yeah. But this, you had an orange pen <laughs> and, and a, a purple, purple pen.、Yeah. I like I, to see the color combination. You like to see the color combination. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I wrote, I wrote like the orange and the purple, and then I was like, oh, they actually look good together. Yeah. So I took them both. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So everyone, welcome. Enough about pens,、mm. okay?、Uh, we're going to talk about commuting by e-bike. Yes. I always comply with the law.、Mm. We should always. Comply with the law. Yes. If you comply, C O M P L Y. What are you doing? Comply means to follow, either follow orders、mm -hmm. or the law or、yeah. someone's orders. Okay. It's a very official sounding. Yeah. Comply with the law.、Mm. Okay. So if you're complying with the law, it means that you don't break laws. Yes. Okay.、Um, and. I think it's important to note that we have certain laws, like driving. Laws,、mm -hmm. right? Traffic laws. Traffic laws.、Mm -hmm. uh, but with e-bike, it's、uh, you know they're just continually coming up with new laws. <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah. those kind of e-bikes and the、no. the scooters, scooters. Yeah, yeah. That For, you can, <laughs> the rules are very vague. Yeah, they're yeah. they're ever every so couple of months they're adding new laws,、uh -huh. right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Every now and then is another expression we're going to learn.、Mm, sometimes. Infrequently, okay,、uh -huh. and not to mention. Not to mention means、mm -hmm. in addition to. So、okay. even more、mm -hmm. or adding to that. Okay,、mm. and then finally we have comply with something. Yeah, All right, let's go ahead and listen to our e-bike dialogue. Hey, Jasmine, you look like you've gotten really fit since you started riding the e-bike to work. Thanks. I've really tried to use it as a bike most of the time, so I can get more exercise. That's one of the great things about e-bikes. But every now and then, I don't feel like pedaling up a hill. Not to mention those times when you're on a busy street. But I always comply with the law when riding through places where you shouldn't use a motor. Okay, Will begins by saying, "Hey, Jasmine, you look like you've gotten really fit since you started riding the e-bike to work." So, our first、uh, thing that we need to do、mm -hmm. is look at our power pattern, which、yes. is, "You look like you've done something,"、mm -hmm. which is what. So, you are looking at that person,、mm -hmm. and you're making a guess about what they have done. Yeah, or. Maybe it's not a guess of what they have done, but you're comparing how they look to something else.、Uh -huh. So if you say something like "You look like you've been run over,"、mm -hmm. you're not actually saying, "Hey, I think a car hit you."、Mm -hmm. It's like, "Oh, you look so sick," <laughs> or like you haven't taken a shower and your hair is messed up. Yes.、Uh, That's what you're you're saying with this statement. All right. Okay.、Mm. So you look like you've gotten really fit. Okay. So it's just like, oh, okay. Before you weren't looking so fit. Yeah. And F I T. What does this mean? So fit here it means that you are physically fit. It、uh -huh. means that you maybe have lost some weight、mm -hmm. or you've gained muscle. Yeah.、Uh, physically, you're much more healthy.、Right. There is an extra meaning if you are in Britain,、mm -hmm. especially. Yeah. Where fit means like attractive. Right, sexy, sure, hot. Oh, right. <laughs> But <laughs> because right. I think we're using the more American term,、yeah. where it's just you. You look like you've been exercising. All right, very、mm. good. Jasmine says thanks. I've really tried to use it as a bike most of the time, so I can get more exercise.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so e-bike, but it's electric bike. Yeah, how much、so、exercise are you, you getting? You can't really get. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can't really <laughs> exercise. Yeah. What does Will say? That's one of the great things about e-bikes. Okay. Mm. So Will agrees. Yeah. And says, yeah. So, uh, okay. So yeah. you can get more exercise. That's the mm. great thing about mm. e-bikes. Or maybe you take your e-bike to a gym uh-huh. and get some exercise. <laughs> Okay. No, I think I, apparently it looks like you can change the setting yeah. so that you can use it as a regular bike mm-hmm. and, and then mm-hmm. as an e-bike, that kind of battery powered yes. function, you can choose to use it. Jasmine says, every now and then, but every now and then, I don't feel like pedaling up a hill. Mm. Okay, so this is why we know it can go manually and electrically. Yeah. Every now and then, you said, is infrequently. Yeah. But- Okay, so how infrequently? Ah, yeah. If you were to do like a 0% every, to 100%. Yeah, every now and then. 30%? 30%? 25%? Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I don't feel every now and then just feels like just very, not like really rarely, uh-huh. but. Not frequently, right. but it's closer to rarely. Right. Yeah. But it's yeah. it's less than sometimes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Right? Yes. It's less than sometimes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's less than sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay. Every now and then, I don't feel like pedaling up a hill. If you pedal yes. up a hill, now we think of pedal as just a noun, yeah. pedal on a bike, mm-hmm. but we can use it as a verb. Yes. To pedal mm. means to use those pedals, mm-hmm. to turn the pedals around the bike. That's right. Mm. Okay. And then um, Will says what? Not to mention those times when you're on a busy street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, here is the order here. Jasmine says, oh, I don't feel like pedaling up a hill. Okay? Mm. Then Will says, in addition to what she just said. Yes. Not to mention Mm. those times when you're on a busy street. So it seems like he's adding to what she just said. Yeah. Yeah. And to be honest, this is a really weird phrase. It's hard. Because uh-huh. you say not to mention. Yeah. But then you mention. <laughs> like Right. Right? You should say, I should also mention. Yeah, right? All right. But this phrase not to mention is kind of like saying, you didn't mention it, so I will mention it. Right. Yeah. So not to mention, I feel that not is really for stress. Yes. Well, don't forget about this. Yeah. I feel that's the feeling that Uh you get. uh Okay. Not to mention when you're on a busy street. So Mm. yeah, if you're on a busy street, of course you don't want to pedal up the hill. Yeah. And Jasmine says, but I always comply with the law when riding through places where you shouldn't use a motor. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you can you can do manual and you can use the motor. Yes. But she's always mm-hmm. complying. complying with the law. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To comply with the law means to follow the law. Mm-hmm. Do what the law says you can and mm-hmm. can not do. Yes. So here, yeah, there are places where you're not supposed to use motors. Yeah. For example, mm-hmm. there are so I kind of right now live in like near Dorimcheon and Anyangcheon yeah. in uh, Seoul. Yes, and there are a lot of bike paths. Yes, you are not supposed to use the motor on the bike paths. Yes, but people do. People, oh. yeah, <laughs> they go by really fast. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Be careful. Yep, yeah, remember uh, you need to comply with the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah. And you should stay in your bike lane. Okay. Oh yeah, that's also complying with the law. I know. You, you see? Every once in a while, I'll there will be like a mm-hmm. an auto bike, like a like. Oh yeah. Mm, oh. In the bike lane. I know. Well, you know, also too in apartment buildings, the uh, you know like delivery service, yeah, bike scooters, uh-huh. they're not supposed to come on to inside the apartment complex. They uh. should go to the basement parking area and uh. up to the elevator, because you know there are kids and you know uh-huh. I mean so but. They're not complying with the law. I don't know. It mm-hmm. takes longer to get my... I'll let that one slide <laughs> because it means it would take longer to get my food. Okay. <laughs> but yes. You, no, yeah, please okay. comply with the law yeah. uh, so that you don't have to pay a fine and okay. you, know, you don't get arrested. Let's go ahead and listen to that dialogue one more time. Hey, Jasmine. You look like you've gotten really fit since you started riding the e-bike to work. Thanks. 
I've really tried to use it as a bike most of the time, so I can get more exercise. That's one of the great things about e bikes. But every now and then, I don't feel like pedaling up a hill. Not to mention those times when you're on a busy street. But I always comply with the law when riding through places where you shouldn't use a motor. It's time for Power Note. Let's do a quick review. Every now and then means sometimes, but we, we did mention it's less than sometimes. Yeah. I think that is very true. Right. It's less than sometimes. Question. Question. How does it compare to from time to time? Every now and then, from time to time. I feel it's very similar. It's very similar. Yeah. yeah. I feel it's very similar. That level. Yes. So less than, uh, less than uh, sometimes. Yeah. But from, from time to time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now and then. Every now and then. Every yeah. now and then. You see, these are the things that are very tricky to uh-huh. understand. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, hey, didn't I see you walking five dogs yesterday in the park? Yeah, that was me. Every now and then, I volunteer at the animal shelter. Okay. Mm. So, like, maybe you volunteer once every two months. Yeah. Something like you know, that. Or three months. You know, and I feel there is no time, there's no routine. No regularity. No regularity. Yeah. Like it's not every two months or uh, every three months. It's just whenever you feel like yeah. it. Yeah. I want to do this. <clears throat> like, Aww. no, I actually looked into volunteering at Aww. an animal shelter. You did? Guess th- there are too many volunteers. <gasps> there, no. You have to s- sign up. Really? Like a month in advance. You're kidding. To walk these dogs. Oh my goodness. Wow. I, yeah, I know. So I, I guess it's it's a good problem to have. Yeah. But uh yeah, I wanted to I like they were full on the internet web really? the, like the website application. So really? I called them and they were like, Oh no, sorry, we have wow. too many people. Oh my gosh. Did not anyway, know that. But I would like to from every now and then every now and then uh, volunteer. To, to volunteer for something like that. Every now and then I'll drive to the beach and watch the sunset over Catalina Island. Oh, yeah. So maybe when you're really sad <laughs> or happy, I don't know, <laughs> you're really stressed. Uh, there's no, yeah, it's not often yeah, and uh, it's not every month. Right, right. 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 I remember, you know, because I lived in, I lived along the beach, like Santa Monica and Venice. Uh-huh. But when I was older and I had a car and my friends had cars, mm. every now and then we would ro- we would drive up the PCH, which means like there was a, a highway, kind uh-huh. of a highway along the coast. Mm-hmm. And we would go up to, you know, Malibu and like, you know, it was like an hour drive and it was like the best. Oh my God, you're so California. Oh, I'm very California. I'm like so so California, <laughs> like it's it was so much fun. Oh goodness! <laughs> okay, I love all it, right. I love it. Not to mention, what is this? Not to mention. Not to mention, mm-hmm. you are adding something oh. to the conversation mm-hmm. that maybe the other person did not say yet. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Did you notice he didn't talk about declining sales during the meeting? Not to mention that he got demoted from vice president to department manager. Okay. Mm. So there are two things he didn't talk about. Yeah. The declining sales. Yeah. But with this phrase, not to mention, Mm -hmm. it's like the bigger news. Yeah. The bigger thing he skipped Mm -hmm. was that he got demoted, (laughs) which means that he got downgraded. Yeah. Not promoted. The opposite. The opposite. Uh Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're talking like... Can you believe you did this? And then the other person say, yeah. And and also yes. stressing. Yes. He got demoted. Okay. All my clothes were in my missing suitcase, not to mention some important documents. This person lost their luggage. Right. Mm-hmm. So here, obviously the clothes are important. Yeah. But, but the more important thing were was mm-hmm. the documents. Yeah. Not to mention. Yeah. So it's like you're saving the thing that you want to stress, Mm -hmm. the thing that you want to emphasize Mm -hmm. for the very end. Okay. So so say, for example, you go to a restaurant, like Mm -hmm. a really nice restaurant. The food is amazing. Mm. Like it's out of this world. (gasps) Not to mention... Their desserts. Ah, so the dessert is the best part. Yes, that's it. Uh, Sorry, that was a good sound. Yeah, (laughs) that sounds like I'm angry. (laughs) But that 
I don't know if that's a me. When I make that sound, yeah. it means like, oh my gosh, that I, sounds amazing. Right. It, it's true. Uh, I think native speakers, they do make that sound like, oh, uh, like, yeah, to to stress something wonderful. <laughs> yeah, even though it sounds like a bad sound. Like, a, like you're frustrated. I know. Like you're annoyed. Right, right. But in that case, it's like, a, oh yeah. gosh, those mm-hmm. desserts sound wonderful. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, one last example, say, for example, a woman, man, like they're so good looking, so mm. beautiful, oh, not to mention their great personality. Oh. It's like, oh, they have this. And then on top of that, they've got that. Yeah. They got everything. They got everything. Mm. Okay. Comply with something means to follow the rules yes. or guidelines or laws. Mm-hmm. What did I do wrong to deserve a C minus, Professor Smith? You failed to comply with the guidelines for formatting that I gave the class. Yeah. So, mm. You know, I think it's important. It's so basic, mm-hmm. but you need to read the question and fi- follow the guidelines. It's so true. Mm. Like the formatting? Yeah. Although- oh. I heard that like nowadays, mm-hmm. kids don't have to worry about it. Yeah, because our- like AI uh-huh. just automatically does it for oh, them. But I remember I used to get points taken off because mm-hmm. mine wasn't in like like proper APA or APA, MLA, MLA MLA format. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so annoying. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. But you had to you had to comply with the rules that the teacher had. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't comply with the rules, I will escort you out of the building. Oh, mm. yeah. This is mm-hmm. using comply here. There is a weight to it. So mm-hmm. it's not just if you don't follow the rules. Yeah. Right. Right. So maybe it's a police officer, a security guard mm-hmm. saying, if you don't comply with the rules, I will escort you out of the building. Like, right. There's some weight whenever you're using the word comply. Right. It's official. Yeah. Yeah. There's Another definitely- place that I hear mm-hmm. this is with the HOA. Homeowners Association. Oh. If you don't comply with the Homeowners Association, mm-hmm. you'll have a fine. Yeah. Your grass in your yeah. lawn is too tall. <laughs> the HOA is going to yeah. fine you. HOA is a big thing in American real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Neighborhoods have like a right. a board of That's right. people mm-hmm. that decide what kind of color you can paint your house. Oh. True. All right. You look like just means like, okay, something that you've seen mm-hmm. and this is what you what you uh you're comparing concluded. yeah yeah you're concluding okay. yeah you look like you didn't sleep at all last night yeah i do you look yeah. tired you okay. look like you just got some really good news you look so happy you're smiley all right mm. do check out our power vocab the verb pedal on page 132 and we got to sign off all have right. a great day